Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode, we're outside. Ooh, I know, the sunshine. Amazing, isn't it? In this episode, we'll be going over the painting section in issue 18 and how to make the most of the paints that you get. We will also be uh, having a look in our community... What was it called? We're also going to be having a look at what you guys have been up to in our community. Sorry, I'm I'm just keep getting dis uh, distracted by the squirrel. They're everywhere. By the emperor, they're everywhere. All right, so where was I? Oh yeah. Um, we're also going to be uh, having a look at what you lot have been up to in our community focus, and then finally. I'll be laying down some details on our subscriber giveaway. So finally, we will be giving something away for hitting our 130 something subscriber benchmark. It is the thing, I promise you. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another episode in my series covering the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest subscription. Now, please do remember to click the subscribe button and a little bell icon next to it so you can get all the notifications for any videos I post up. So let's get to it. So as you can see, I have all of the uh, Death Guard and Ultramarines laid out. I also have my Rakar Flesh. I have the Mephiston Red and the Mechanicus Standard Grey. Um, so these are the colours we are guided through on using in issue 18. And uh, But you know, there is artistic flair there, so do what you feel is right. But essentially, um, yeah, there's a guide. So I'll start with the Librarian first because it has the larger area to paint red. Um, so I did all the robes and that. And as you can see, because the pipes and the oversaw moment are not glued on yet, it's a lot easier to get to the areas I need to. Um, it's not until after I've done the base coats that I then glue it on. Uh, you want to paint up the little book that he's got and you can also paint some of the cables on his head or if you're using a helmet instead, you can paint those too. Uh, just make sure that you do multiple even coats and water down the paint slightly so it doesn't get onto the model too thickly. So there you go, I'm painting the Yofa movements as well. Um, with the Reavers, the unit sergeant has red on the headset part of his uh, face mask, so around his sides. So just make sure you've got a good point on your brush go around the edges nicely and also paint the strip on the grenade and if you want you could do one of the buttons on the control panel on his arm. Uh, with all of the helmeted models except the unit sergeants you want to paint the islands is red so make sure that you have a nice point not too much paint on the brush and have all your fingers touching and holding the model this will help steady uh, your hand and even put your elbows on the table if you have to. With the unit sergeants you paint the helmets red and uh, as I said before don't paint the islands is red we're going to be painting them green at a later date um, so just keep it painted black and if you do splodge in there you can always go back over with a bit of black so just be careful but remember you can always go back on your mistakes. Uh, with the aggressors as well, uh, they have uh, the bits of rope on their armour, um, so paint these up in the red as well. It sort of adds a little bit of a spot colour to help break up all that blue. I also decided to paint the power cables as well, so you feel free to do it your own way, um, but I thought it would help break up the colours a bit as well. The Inceptor is literally just an over moment the eye lenses and the control panel. 
So for the Death Guard, you start with the Mythic Blight Hauler, do his eye lens. Also did the uh, the scope on the multi melter. Uh, you got the tongue, and you can either do the eyes if you want on the uh, Plague Bearer Champion. And then of course you got the scopes and eye lenses on the rest of the Plague Marines. Uh, if you got any tabards as well, uh, you could paint those up too. And then of course you've got your characters, so they have tabards as well, you can paint the eye lenses, uh, red, and any other details you feel would add to the model, you can paint that as well. Even the little Nurgling gets a red eye too. So just make sure you keep your hands steady and uh, keep those layers thin. On the pox walkers, uh, the dude with the mask, you can do his eye lens is red. And as you noticed, I didn't paint all of them with blue robes because I wanted to mix it up just to break them up a little bit. So along with the conversions, they have something different as well. Then we move on to rack our flesh. So with this, we'll be painting all the bone details. So we'll start with the uh, Death Guard models. Um, so the grenades, uh, you can also do the stitching on the faces. Um, if you see any maggots as well, you can paint them up in rack our flesh. Um, so, and you know, some of those skulls, they well heads, they have some of the bone showing through as well. So you can paint that up. Uh, he's got the main grenade holding there, so paint that up in bone as well. Um, with a little nurgling, what you want to do, same thing as I said with the eye lenses, you just want to get a nice fine tip on your brush and just go nice and steady, take your time. And then with the pox walkers, you could do the eyes as well, so the same as doing the lenses and the teeth. Um, I also decided to do some of them with bone colored spikes and leave some of them with the black so at a later date they might show us a different paint color scheme to do for those spikes but i thought um you know paint some of them up as just white bone and the same with the uh, Plague Marines as well, you want to do all the bonus spikes, the uh, champ, the champion for the Plague Marines um, also has some maggots on his belly and all those teeth in his gut mouth as well. So just paint all that up in the rack of flesh. With the Mephitic Blight Hauler, uh, you could do the fangs and um, what I did is the missiles i decided i wanted to paint those with the wreck flesh as well and the exhaust fence as well i wanted them to look like bone rather than flesh and there you go there's an example of some of the pox walkers with their bones painted up and then this model has a lot of maggots on it so it's a good example of painting the maggots with the wreck flesh And of course, he's got tons spilling out of his belly. Uh, moving back on to the Ultramarines, uh, one of the aggressors has a, a servo skull on the base, so you just paint the skull up. Um, and the skull masks on the Reavers as well, so again, just be careful. If you do spill over, don't worry about it too much, you can always go back over it. But again, you will need a couple of thin layers so that you don't obscure the details and you build up that color because the blue will show through the pale color quite well, uh, quite easily, sorry. Um, with Lieutenant Calcius, you could paint up all the ultramarine signs. So I start from the top bits, the wings of the ultra letter and then I move to the curve part. If you do make any mistakes, while it's wet, you can wipe it away with a finger or a bit of tissue. But you just want to keep your hands steady and take your time with it. So 
there you go look you got the motif on the knee and on the uh, power pack as well and then of course you can paint up his sofa moments as well um, with the librarian he has scroll work on the right shoulder pad and also on his right knee as well and you can also paint the pages in his book too The Emperor, they're everywhere. So, here's a little update on the Alma container because I didn't show the finished work on it. So, I've completed the battle damage on it and also dry brushed a little bit of the black and the silver on the edges as well on some of the corners just to make it look a bit more worn. And then showing the finished works of the models, there's the Lieutenant Calcius and the back of him too. And there's the Librarian and you always have the option of gluing the stuff on like I did after you've done those robes, which I find helps a lot more. And if you want, you can always paint the inside of the robes or the outside of the robes in the Rakar flesh rather than the red. The aggressors, uh, they look pretty cool once painted up too. And uh, there's the back of them. And you also notice that the base details are quite good to paint as well. So there's one and there's the bolt gun as well. Then there's the inceptor. So again, it was just the open moment and the button that needed painting with the eye lens. There's the Finnish Reaver Sergeant and the squad together with the painted up skull masks the uh, hell blasters it was just the eye lenses and the intercessors uh, as a group I did a couple of extra details as well like the lenses on the scopes and there's the back of the helmet uh, so yeah as you can see the tablet is painted up on that one and the little nurgling, which I'm keeping separate because I want to put him on his own base. There's our other character as well. And the Mephitic Blight Hauler. You can see it, the missiles all painted up with the off white and the stinger at the back too. And there's the Plague Marine cha uh, Champion and the squad together and the alternative champion with his little conversion. And as you see I painted the skulls on the power pack as a bone rather than metal. And there's the spikes and all that painted up too. And then the Pox Walkers um, with the alternative paint schemes that I did. And there's the little maggots on the back when they're finished. Uh, that picture's a bit dark, but you get the idea. There, yeah, plenty of maggots. Look at that. That is surely evil incarnate. So here's the community focus section, and due to such an overwhelming response, I've had to just record it on the screen. Because uh, there's no way I can upload all the pictures and the comments and everything and get the video out on time. Uh, so let's get cracking. So this is from Christopher Buckingham and he's done a nice wasp theme on the stinger there. Uh, as you can see in this picture right here. That looks really cool. Aggressors, nicely done by Paul Gillings. And uh, as you can see, he's, he's gone a little bit further to shade and highlight the a moment and do the green on the unit sergeant's eye lenses. Uh, Gavin Mark Schofield has a work in progress with his blood angels there and there's a couple of cool models in there as well. And then Kevin Hackler, he's obviously working on his shadow spear box set there and these are really cool models. And he's even got Abaddon the Despoiler 
so that is a pretty cool model there. Uh, Lee Fletcher, he's back at it again and uh, been painting with his son and of course we have his Rhino, he's got some weathered effects going on there, some rust, that's pretty cool, look at that, yeah I like that very much, he's doing a good job there. And then we have Ewan Provan, uh, he's doing his Space Wolves, so you see he's sorted out some heads there and he's got a couple of Space Wolf uh, shoulder pads going as well. Right, Nathan Poole, he has painted up his uh, Redemptor Dreadnought with the Crimson Fist uh, paint scheme. He's even done some battle damage as well, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he's done an amazing job there. I really wouldn't want to get hit by that fist. Uh -uh. And then Stefan Samson has done a really good paintwork up here. I love the colour scheme there. The off-white is just great and he's got a bit of var de grease going on. He's also posted all of his pox walkers and let's have a look at that. Wow. And he's also got some blight drones there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, Richard Russell with his whole collection there. Oh, he's got some Star Trek models sneaking in there. Um, but as you see, like he's got an Imperial Knight. He's got tons of containers. He's got loads of stuff going on there. It's obviously been collected for a while. So that's fantastic to see. Peter Stewardson with his captain. And he swapped out the head there. And that looks great as well. It's a really good paint job going on there. And uh, this limited edition model with the the half the helmet held off. That's really cool. I like that model. And then here's another picture from Kevin Roy. And that's all of his Ultramarines painted up. And he's even got the containers and the ammo crates and barrels to match the scheme as well. So that's really, really cool. As you noticed, he's gone for the beige robes on the librarian too. Another one from Kevin Roy. So this is his Nurgle collection, his Death Guard collection, and as you can see he's done the exact same thing with the barrels and the ammo crates to match it in with the theme. There's another one from Peter Stewardson uh, with his intercessors and I like that dude with the knife out as well. That's pretty cool. And then we've got some more from Kevin Roy, so his Rise of Ruins, which look absolutely great look at the detail there and he's done the weathering as well that's really cool and he's got some dreads going on there that's his rhino as well which is really nicely done and his captain with it looks like he's done some power effect on the blade as well it's really cool yes i think that would do as well mate and then we've got Wolfgar Heathen, and he's got his Mephitic Blight Hauler painted up really nice. He's done a lot of washing and sort of wear and tear painted on there as well. It looks really good. And uh, he's sent in a couple of pictures of that as well. It's really cool. And then I think he's done Lieutenant Calcius as well. So he's gone for the golden details all the way through. And of course he's done with the bases as well. And he was saying he hasn't picked up a paintbrush in 19 years. So that is done pretty well. Helen Chalky White with one of the poxwalkers that we'll get later on in the series. And that looks really cool, I like all the different colours you've got going on there. And the Plague Marine as well. That looks fantastic, I like that colour scheme. Darren Harper with his rendition of Lieutenant Calcius. So as you see, he's gone for the third company colors on the rim. And he's also done the stripes on the helmet that denotes his rank. Connor Bacon and his Blood Angels. And he's even done the Blood Angels uh, way of coding the units with the yellow helmets for the jump troops and the blue for the specialists. And he's done some uh, light sourcing on the plasma rifles as well, so that's really really cool as well. 
And what else have we got? James Rose with his massive horde of base coated miniatures. So, got some catching up to do, dude. Christopher Hounslow with his awesome dreadnought. And uh, look how clean that is. He's got all the transfers on as well. And uh, I want to know where he got that background from. If it's at home or in the shop. It's really cool. And then we have Chris Ready Radcliffe. And he's got a few different miniatures going on in there as well. He's got an airship and uh, a walker and some Shadow Spear min miniatures in there. And then Aaron Middlehurst with his collection here. And you can see he's even done some really cool uh, toxic base details there. And this is one of the miniatures that we'll get later on in the series too. But the various colours that he's got going on, it really does bring out the detail in those models. Look at that. Beautiful. Such a clean, sharp paint job there. I love it. And then we've got this Rhino which has been converted with a turret from another tank set. And he's stuck the bolters in there. I really do like the look of that. It looks really, really cool. So thank you, David. And your Redemptor Dreadnought as well. Cool, look at that. Neil Shaw. There are your Plague Marines. And uh, see there, the second from the right, you've also changed the helmet. That looks really good. I do like that helmet. has a really good color scheme too. So thank you very much for sharing that. And I believe that's that. So thank you very much for sharing those photos. And uh, I do hope to keep this as a regular feature. Because um, obviously you guys are enjoying sharing your stuff. Okay, so I had something a bit more epic and glamorous uh, planned for this section. But screw it. Um, so yeah. Basically for the subscriber giveaway, all you got to do is make sure that you are subscribed. It's that easy. And, and you know what, so that shout in the comments below for the Emperor. Um, so yeah, uh, the prize will be a intercessor sergeant painted up in whichever scheme you want it to be, whether it's an existing chapter, your own, if you want to paint it like Mr. Blobby, pff, screw it, I'll do it. Uh, and I'll base it. I'll do I'll spray paint it I'll do all that stuff okay so all you gotta do is subscribe that's it um, there's only one limit though it will have to be uh, for the UK uh, because I'm flat broke hence I'm painting the model to give away and uh, I don't think I could afford shipping it across the world to Australia so sorry guys um, but hey if you help make this channel bigger, I might be able to afford it. So there's your incentive. Um, so I'll do the draw uh, next weekend. And you know what? Here's a target. If you guys help me get to 200 subscribers by then, I'll do the whole unit of three just for you. So. Until then.